Hello, Amar. Welcome to I2E Knowledge Series. Super glad to have you here. Thank you. My pleasure, brother. Uh, so before we start, if you can give us a quick intro about yourself and CAT, that would be great. My name is Amar Nath Shengar. I'm the CEO of CAT Entertainments, which is a media production company. We create commercials and corporate films uh, for organizations, uh, helping them in business growth and market positioning. Technically, we can say we are a B2B content production company, B2B video content production house. And it's been uh, seven years. Technically, we are in this field. And uh, yeah. OK, great. That's so it. maybe if we can go back a little bit uh, about mm. your founding you know, journey, when did mm. this all start? You know. Uh, Prana started and how did you find your co-founders? Uh, what was your first, uh, you know, few years like? Maybe if we can just walk walk us through that journey, that would be great. Three uh, three uh, actually. And when when I look back now, we have three traces. I would say. Traces of entrepreneurship right. uh, from very early, early childhood itself. Right. Okay. Um, and um, you know, we all, 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 everything was well arranged and well connected okay so uh, the uh, i would say cat uh, in the journey diet to the very crucial moments happened in our college okay so uh, me and my co-founders especially chachu uh, we were in the same college uh, we were in the same department he was one year younger to me was my junior okay. and uh, we had another co-founder Mr. Ebbin he was also from the same college uh, by that time and you know we happened to we were kind of fed up with the conventional syllabus engineering syllabus okay. so we found happiness in some other steps like you know discussing about cinema uh, you know experimenting experimenting things uh, out of the syllabus like by that time I was actually uh, I remember still remember I was actually setting up a private FM station okay. uh, in college Interesting. and uh, yeah and I was you know I, I was not having any clue how to set it up so <laughs> I had my friends with me uh, my batchmates and you know I just by that time uh, I just uh, you know we are gathering information like how to set it up, how to get a license. There are lots of uh, norms like they categorize cities like a, a type A, type B, type C, and you know you need a certain kind of license to set up an FM station. So all these things are happening in the college. Actually. I mean, uh, this you know even though we were not we were not performing very well in the academics, right. all these uh, glitters were known to people, and I think by that time. Uh, one fine morning, uh, Chachu and team, Chachu and you know he came to my class and now he 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 just discussed this idea with me like, um, you know he is interested in that project and how can we take it to uh, next level like especially br bringing some good quality content for okay. that FM channel. Okay. Okay. So, uh, so so you know even before that itself, I have identified him actually. I mean, identify in the sense I have noticed him, you know, very much. Um, in multiple occasions, I identified him like you know he is you know not uh, you know beyond an engineer. Right. Of an engineer, he has got uh, more of a creative or artistic uh, sense right. as a dominant competency. So uh, I used to you know I have noticed that thing even before I'm. You know, we seriously talk about this FM stuff. Right. 
but from um, that incident onwards we we were continuously in touch with uh, together and we were continuously discussing about many uh, projects like what can be done after the college and all right by that time you know apart from the syllabus i was doing um, uh, multiple experiments i was doing uh, lots of research on information security uh, cyber security all those aspects and i was doing uh, making pretty much uh, revenue in parallel like i was conducting workshops right. in different colleges in uh, i was studying in tamil nadu and tamil nadu i went to karnataka maharashtra even kerala uh, colleges were inviting me it doesn't mean that they invite each and every, no every month no, not, not like that maybe once in a quarter i get an opportunity and i go there i uh, perform uh, the so called ethical hacking workshops and i <laughs> made money out of it right. okay so i find more i found more interest more more um, pleasure in that so yeah. by that time or, or, or even you know it's a long story though uh, i have already realized like you know i am not a person uh, uh, you know I, i i i have identified that i won't be a good employee okay okay i cannot i cannot Uh, work uh, in the circumstances like you know someone else is planning building a system and we are you know living and you know working within that system that was not my stuff i was identified that so I, even back to orkut age uh, if you you know i have the backup of my orkut profile uh, till now i mean i'm still i'm having even the orkut is down okay. we got an opportunity we got an option like you know before orkut were you know closing down we can we could dump the data Correct. so i have the offline files of my orkut which i built in 2005 so there is uh, an a, a column like organization or occupation so i gave two names there one is amar technologies <laughs> private limited okay and the second one is amar media vision private limited okay chuma i just i was just written like that because by that maybe when i look back maybe when i was 15 years old itself i, I was kind of determined right. uh, like you know i'm going to build right. organizations i'm going to build company that time we were not much familiar with uh, steve jobs we were more of a fan of bill gates actually <laughs> because we were not uh, we were not able to afford an apple pc so we were all having the windows 9 i i, I used from 3.1 um, actually There is with Windows 3.1, 95, 98, 2000, and like that XP, because my father happened to be in the same field. He was a programmer, so okay. um, I had that exposure uh, to use even 80386 PZ, which is uh, not driven on graphical user interface. Yeah. Okay. So uh, I had that uh, vision from my early uh, 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 childhood itself. I think. Uh, when i look back now only i could identify all these points right now yeah. so even in my uh, 11th standard i happened to you know we we friends in my 11th standard we collectively worked for a uh, a documentary film when i was 15 years old right. uh, we kind of co-directed co-created it we we were all together so uh, so by by that time itself i also had this strong desire to work or to 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 be in a line with the visual media or the magic of cinema what we call uh, right. precisely so so you know so these were the pre background i would say so when i was in college when i met chachu yeah. he he also acted in a short film when he was in uh, 11th standard or something so we had lots of similarities actually okay so we thought of thought like okay we'll do that we'll do the business by that time i happened to meet a, another junior um, he was doing some side business in the college i was knowing that side business in the college in the sense a lot of businesses uh, he was um, identifying the problems of the students in the campus and he was arranging parallel supply okay. for those challenges okay. so i identified him as a wonderful guy who who operates things really well so i told him i still remember when i was in third third year he was in second year okay i met him somewhere near to my library i told him like i was knowing like you are doing some good business 
um, we will work somewhere somehow. I not I, I was I told him like I can I cannot say like when we will associate. We will be associating, but one day we will definitely we shall definitely associate. Mm -hmm. And he is the operation head of CAT, Mr. Manu Joseph. Okay. So this is this is your team right now. Are they part of your team? Right now. Yeah, the they are. This is the core team, I would say. Uh, we have second, third layers of teams. Uh, right. So this is the uh, core team. Awesome. Okay. So uh, fast forward to few years. Um, uh, I mean, yeah. you, when you started up as a as a, as a startup, you know, uh, mm. when did you start making revenue? And you know, you felt that hey, this is working out well. Or when did you? You know that was the first part of my question. The second part is when did you actually mm. shift to uh, the B two B sector, and where, mm. where did you find that potential? At what point in time did you did you find that, or what? Which what was your biggest break in the journey? Uh, yeah. Actually, we were continuously evaluating right. the process. Actually, okay, I would say. Uh, all these collaborations and discussions happening right. by the year 2010 and 2011 in college. Okay. By 2011, June, I technically passed out from the college. Okay. By 2012, January, by the time when Chachu and team came to Kochi to do their final year project, okay. that was the time when I also land here, land upon here in Kochi and uh we were not having clarity like any other star I mean, we all we just had a vague vision right. okay very vague idea like we are going to do things together right. it would be in the field of visual media and technology okay okay yeah we had that strong vision because you know we were quite good in that that's what that was our at least our conviction so right uh, we uh, reached here in Kochi, so like any other uh, person, like any other 21 or 22 year old boy. No, when we think of uh, visual media, we had only two options, either cinema right. or television. Correct. So we, we, we tried both those things uh, together. Actually, we started writing some scripts for cinemas. You know, it's a, you know many people know the story. And also, we designed a television program, uh, a technology, uh, something like a gadget show. Okay. okay. And uh, we pitched both items, both products to different people, like directors, producers, and cinematographers in one hand, and the idea for idea about a television program to different channels in this city. Right. So that was happening from 2012 January to 2012 December. Okay. So by 2012 December only, we were able to make our first television program on air. Okay. Which is uh, on Reporter Channel. Right. Uh, it was the uh, name of that show was Tech Zone. Tech so Zone. we did that show, Tech Zone. Chachu was. Uh, doing the creative uh, site and I was doing the research and hosting and you know the narrative scripting and all okay and uh, I, 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 I yeah so by that time we, we were uh, having me uh, Chachu, Manu, Ibn and I had my schoolmate uh, Mr. Arun Nair okay. okay so we were kind of chunks you know close brothers so we were we had lots of uh, great time together so i invited you know by that time we were in constant in touch and constantly in touch with him and you know he also joined in the team by that time not formally actually it was not a formal union of a, an organization but more of the you know some chilling moments of friends right okay so by 2012 for december we broadcasted our very first technology show Right. That was going on in the other hand, one hand, and by that time, that is the time we happened to attend the Thai conference uh, in uh, Kochi, okay. Thai Con 2012, I guess. Okay. So that is the time we are uh, getting more of uh, more idea about the phenomenon called startup village. Okay. 
Sanjay, I guess Sanjay and Sijo were the speakers of that event. Okay. So when, you know, especially when I heard Sanjay's call to quit <laughs> and, you know, gather and you know, fight for chasing our dreams, that was terrific. So we have no other choice. So it, it is like, you know, finding your own tribe, you know, right. that was the kind of feel. So, so by doing the television program, we were not making any money out of it, but we had this drive and we happened to land upon startup village. And in, if my memory is correct, we were this eighth startup, uh, incubated in startup village. Right. And we were the very first media production startup, technically speaking, okay. um, incorporated there. I mean, incubated there. And that is, you know, that's happening in January of 2013. Okay. And 2013 May, uh, we incorporated it as a private limited company. In, the, in those five months, we identified the relevance of relevance and need to uh, make it as a formal organization. Right. Yeah. So yeah. To, to the question, uh, first project, of course, the television program which we have done with Reporter Channel is the first product, technically speaking. And uh, first revenue, of course, the most popular ad film which you have created for Startup Village was the pivoting moment, actually. Right. That was uh, the very first uh, revenue. Yeah. Please. That in that you know journey, uh, where are you right now uh, at this point in time? And also, how does the future look like? That's first part. And the second part is, uh, you always used a word called cat quality for your videos and you've repeatedly used it many times. What does that mean and yeah. you know, what does that signify? Um, when I look back, this is a seven, th you know, we just have completed seven years. Right. It is, a, you know, for a totally bootstrapped startup, uh, which is having positive revenue um, for seven years. Right. I don't know whether it is it is justifiable, but I could only say that we had a good beginning. Sure. That's all. Okay. We just took a brave single step. That's what all I can say about it. Even okay. though it's seven years, so we had a great beginning, actually. Okay. And about the future of Cat, it is uh, it will be glorious. And you know, primarily, you know, it's a, technically speaking, we are, as you said, we are more into B two B content production. Right. And we assume that we believe that we are doing pretty well in that. Uh, multiple multiple times we uh, got recognitions from uh, multiple entities as the best production. Right one of the best productions in uh, B2B sectors all over the country. So we are doing pretty uh, well, pretty much good in that. And uh, we, we need to make sure that we are number one in that. Okay. And I'm, I'm seeing it as a, I mean, I, I'm seeing great potential for right. B2B content, especially the content uh, uh, business, content sector. And if I you know, we recall, almost eighty to eighty-four percent of internet traffic right. is you know invaded by video content. So, right. um, so being um, number one in B two B in India, and of course we want we are doing, and we wanted to spread our wings across the world right. would be the priority number one, okay. so to speak. And priority number two would be we will definitely be expanding our div divisions and possibilities to B2C content, which would be the entertainment content okay. that will also be coming in. I mean, we are not in hurry. We are taking enough time to move ahead. Coming back to the second question that I had, um, what is the key differentiator? You know, that, you know, uh, what, what is a key differentiator that you yourself differentiate with other production houses doing the b2b content what is what is your key advantage or you know uh, one of the key elements that 
differentiate you from the pro person. the process basically the process we are not just randomly creating a video for anybody right we learn about the organization we learn their purpose we learn their vision right. we understand okay. their projections and we create a strategy okay. for them with them helping them achieve what they exactly want to achieve in the coming five or ten years okay. and we you know set based on that strategy we create a content it could be a corporate film it could be a product movie it could be a commercial it could okay. be a fundraising movie it could be a, a crowdfunding campaign it could be a testimonial movie okay. you know it could be anything so okay. this part this technical part is part a and part b uh, i would say um, incomparable sense of creativity with uh, with the uh, uh, total awareness of you know with the total awareness of awareness uh, of technology and uh, our uh, creative team is uh, doing very good in that and Chachu is heading the creative team. He's the okay. chief creative officer. Awesome. So, uh, so, on so the, uh, if let me just uh, uh, conclude it like the fusion of technology right. and sense of business and creativity. Got it. Okay. So uh, that fusion is cat quality. Can you name your biggest clients? You know, every criminal say. Uh, we, we, we have many multi-billion dollar corporation as clients okay. like you know so IBM is our client ITC is our client okay. in terms of valuation of course LG is our client in okay. terms of valuation of course Synthite was our client there is a company in France called MAN it's our client uh, the Switzerland company Furnish is our client Tencent Corporation is our client. Right. Uh, you know, all these uh, are yeah. in terms of the uh, market cap. Correct. In terms of diver no diversion, Correct. I would say diverse perspective. We can say Department of Atomic Energy or a, spe a specific department under Department Department of Atomic Energy is our client. Uh, we have clients in uh, you know dairy products. We have clients in uh, government sector. We have the Kerala government is our client in terms of information technology department. Right. Many startup ecosystems are our clients. Kerala startup mission is our client. Got it. You know uh, more than almost eighty to hundred uh, big boys. I would say giants. And we have got a hashtag which is for, you know which is trending. We walk with the giants. Got it. Along so, with cat quality. Awesome. So um, on that note, uh, if there is a particular partnership that you're looking at at this point in time, right? A specific segment, it could be a specific segment, it could be a specific uh, name in itself. But if there are specific partnerships that you're looking at this point in time, what would that be? Um, surely um, say that one of our agendas, agenda, is to expand our business across the world. Okay. For uh, sorry, for okay. uh, that not, uh, we uh, have worked physically uh, in uh, Sri Lanka, Dubai, uh, United States, and recently we had shooting in Japan. Okay. So we. In our profile, we are delivering great quality, international quality content. Okay. We, we are creating content in global standards. Right. So, of course, there is a huge opportunity for channel partners right. in different regions. It could be ASEAN, it could be European Union, it could be in the United States or Far East, it could be anywhere. Channel partners could be uh, an easily plug and play mode partnership okay. possible for CAT with CAT in terms right. of business development. Right. Okay. Because we are capable to deliver 
the cat quality, so-called cat quality, or to anywhere else in the world, actually. Got it. So uh, before we go to our next segment, I have uh, two questions for you. One is, is okay. there any any company that you wish you co-founded? Oh my God, that could be controversial. So I'm not, I better not saying it. <laughs> okay, but yeah, me and Chachu, we always uh, have, uh, uh, sorry, we always have, uh, uh, one of our plans is to create a consumer good company. Okay. Probably a life, lifestyle brand. Okay. We are damn sure that if we create it, it will be a hit, okay. but we don't have time. So we are not doing it right now. Means, you know, that is the kind of ideas you are having it, but yeah. But, but from a, from a company that, you know, from a perspective, the a company that is yeah. already existing. So if yeah. you can name one company that you wish you co-founded, you know, Apple or Microsoft, mm -hmm. you know, something like that, a company oh that you God. wish you co-founded that you're, you know, super, uh, one company that you look forward to honestly speaking uh, i don't know I, I i never had such a thought brother because i i don't know maybe i am being super real okay. I, how can we think about things like that no i never feel like that okay i never fair felt like anything like that i'm sorry yeah fair enough fair enough uh, which is your favorite book I would say wings of fire. So this okay. segment is called as photo walk where we have a couple of photos here. Maybe you can take 10, 20 seconds to quickly go through the memory that you have about this, you know, picture. That would be great. So this is, our, yeah. this is the first picture. Yeah. This was during the shoot of tech zone, our very first initiative with reporter channel. I was hosting the program and I was anchoring it and Chachu was uh, giving me directions to, you know, on how, how should I perform in front of camera. Okay, awesome. This is our second picture. This was uh, recognition uh, in presence of the Chief Minister Rumban Chandi and the founder of Infosys, Mr. Chris. Okay. Me and Chachu was receiving the, I think, uh, excellence, some excellent startup Special award. Special appreciation. Yeah. 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 Some excellence, yeah. So the, and uh, this, this was uh, rec image. yeah recognition, yeah recognition uh, received. Uh, I received behalf of CAT from the Chief Minister of Kerala, current Chief Minister. Okay. Yeah. And I think Chris is there as well, right? Uh, yeah. Yeah, Chris was there. Even uh, uh, PH Kudin sir replaced by Shivashankar sir actually. Right. <laughs> the IT secretaries. Correct. Yeah. The, when the government changes, you know. <laughs> This is the and uh, next year. during the shoot of uh, Milma's first project for the Ernakulam region. It is in Katapana, Iduki. It's a Milma dairy in uh, Katapana. And this is the iconic shot in the corporate movie of Synthite, which was very much, you know, uh, which was a very crucial right. project which you have ever done in the life of uh, Cat. Right. The project which you have done for Synthite was changing it just start literally changing actually transforming so this actually gave you a lot of mileage with respect to you know working with the big guys and you know uh, actually we started playing big ticket games right awesome yeah because <laughs> the, the 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 budget of this movie was the total turnover of the previous financial year just this movie <laughs> okay that explains a lot <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> 